this area of the exhibition is the works that represent the Mannerist style of the Mannerist period. At the Art Gallery of Alberta presently is one of the most historic collections of paintings ever to grace a local gallery. 41 works by Italian Renaissance masters on loan from the Glasgow Museum. The works in this show go back 500 years, so it's been full five centuries of Italian painting. The earliest works from the middle of the 14th century, so the 1300s. This is the oldest of the collection, dating back to about 1370, eh, Laura? What materials did they use? So in the 14th century and through to the 15th century, most of the materials that were used in terms of painting, it's more likely to be egg and tempera and panels as opposed to the oil on canvas that we get later after the Renaissance. So this would be another example of egg tempera medium. That's right. As opposed to just strictly oil that we see later, this work is both oil paint and egg tempera on panel. So it's a good example of the transition in materials that's coming around the Renaissance. And this is a masterwork by Botticelli. So certainly the Annunciation is a story that we're familiar with is being depicted here. And it's an artist that we're certainly a name that we recognize. Definitely you see a transition from religious works through to secular works. We get moments in the 19th century that demonstrate neoclassicism at its best, celebrating the state, where the early 14th century works certainly look at more biblical stories and figures. When we look at the, the detail that, that you can see in the textile, you know, you're really bringing a different type of uh, painting skill to the fore there. Sea goddesses, allegories to the state, justice and peace. Certainly in the 18th century, which the works we're looking at right now, there's a lot of elegance that's displayed in the compositions and in, in the frames as well. And this work by Francesco Guardi um, is a view of Venice. And it's one of the masterpieces in this show that's been uh, revered for, for its composition and that a new approach to city and landscapes. Mm -hmm. And this to the right is special unto itself as well as it? Absolutely. It's one of the key works in this exhibition in, in part because it does demonstrate a transition from specifically religious or mythical themes into uh, different approaches to allegory that have to do with the state. This is a great example of a Renaissance um, work brought to life again in our new spaces by a, such a gilded frame. And this work in particular is exciting. This is the focal point of the show, a masterpiece by Titian, um, one of the Venice artists represented in this show. 500 years of Italian painting till March 9th. To get the collection itself here is certainly a lot of work in terms of sh shipping and crating and organizing the traveling package, um, but we were certainly wanted to have the opportunity to present Italian masterworks um, to Western Canada. For Go Edmonton, I'm Tim Dancy.